Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to prepare persimmon to eat. Now this is a persimmon. If you've never seen these guys before, you can probably find them at your grocer these days. Uh, you want to make sure you uh, wash them before you try and prepare them and eat them. Um, the outside, it can be eaten just like the skin of say an apple, but it's a little bit tough so most people like to peel it or uh, remove the persimmon flesh from inside. So there's a number of different ways to do this and I'm just going to show you one. You can, I'm just going to peel it. I'm going to take off the cap and I'm going to peel it. But people, I've seen people cut it in half and scoop it out and eat it like that. It's sort of like maybe a kiwi. Um, you can use a spoon to go around the flesh and the skin and you can remove the flesh that way. But I'm just going to use a nice sharp knife because it's the easiest way for me. Now you can slice it any way you want. You can make it into chunks. You could uh, make it into slices or medallions. But we're going to just cut it into slices today. Now, you want to pick persimmon that are firm to touch at the grocery store. You don't want mushy ones and you don't want them to be um, really, really hard either. They have a very astringent taste that's not very pleasant when uh, they aren't ripe all the way. So you want to kind of wait until they are the texture or the softness. They give a, have a little bit of give on the skin like a kiwi. Okay, these guys are on the more ripe side. I've been waiting, they've been on my counter, and it's just so juicy. I'll show you what it looks like. It almost looks like marmalade in here. It's such a gorgeous, orangey, bright color. And you're looking for skins that are bright red or scarlet. So I'm just peeling it sort of like a mango or how I would peel a kiwi. And as you can see, it's extremely juicy. So there you go, that's what it looks like inside. Sort of like a peach even it looks like, right? Just gonna remove that little bit of inner core. Doesn't look too nice. When you have the patience to wait until they're this uh, ripe, you will be well rewarded. What a sweet, beautiful, juicy flavor. It is almost like candy, I would say. It's so sweet. Now, the inside is really, really neat. Um, it kind of looks like a starburst pattern on the inside, just like that. So they're nice when you slice them into medallions. And I'm just gonna try a little bite here for you. It almost looks like a star fruit inside of it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. I don't even know of another fruit that tastes like this. It is intensely sweet. It has a beautiful texture of kind of like a peach, kind of like a nectarine. Mmm. But it has a little bit of an extra flavor. The inside where this little starburst pattern is has an even different texture, sort of like mm, maybe citrus, maybe like a big citrus like a pomelo. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. It would be a wonderful fruit for smoothies or for um, fresh fruit salads, like a dessert with fresh fruit. When they're um, unripe, they have a crunchy texture that like an apple in fact. Uh, but when they're soft, they are like peaches. Um, they have higher levels of dietary fiber, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron, and manganese uh, than apples, and lower levels of copper and zinc. However, they also contain vitamin C and beta carotene. Uh, you can see the bright orange color. Um, they also have some phytochemicals that are important for you and very, very good. But they're so tasty, and it, you wouldn't, almost wouldn't even care if they were healthy for you. They taste that awesome. <laughs> They're beautiful to bring with you to lunch, um, especially when they're perfectly ripe like this. They are perfect. Oh, and you can even smell how beautiful. It almost looks like a tomato, doesn't it? Uh, but it surely doesn't taste like a tomato. It is wonderful. I'm gonna bring this to mom. Mom fell in love. She's had persimmon before, but she remembered it to be very bitter. And that means that she had it when it wasn't ripe. So you must, must wait until it has, gives, has a little bit of give with the skin and it's got a beautiful bright red crimson flush. It is just, she said it just like candy, just like I said to you, it tastes just like candy. It is so juicy. It is so sweet and it has such a lovely, lovely flavor. Now, I usually only see these guys around wintertime, in late fall and wintertime uh, at my grocer, but I hope that we start seeing them much more often than that. Try that with your cranberry sauce, put that with a smoothie. You could even uh, make your chicken with this, like a curried chicken with persimmon, it'd be fantastic, that's what I'm envisioning. Uh, anyhow, serve this as fresh fruit, um, entertaining guests, absolutely 
beautiful, beautiful fruit. So surprise people who have never had it before and you just have to make sure that you get the a ripe one, that's all. And they are just absolutely wonderful. You will really surprise yourself. What a great, great snack, lovely. So that's it. That's how you prepare a persimmon to eat. And I'm gonna do these two and we're gonna eat these tonight, guys tonight. So that's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page, Facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. Alright? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.